and it blows up their saga. <laughs> Boom! Welcome, Vintage Gamers, Wednesday Night Vintage League. Uh, you see in front of you a very spicy list from our friend Andy Montolio, uh, who has already two five O's playing the new on Magic Online cards, <laughs> White Plum Adventure and Seasoned Dungeoneer. Now, these cards have been out in paper for a little while now, uh, but Magic Online took a, uh, did not take the initiative to uh, get them on the platform very quickly. But they're here now, and to much legacy players rejoicing or dismay, uh, they are very strong. This card, these cards are already putting up uh, challenge wins over in legacy, and early testing in vintage makes me believe that these are the cards that Archon of Amiria needs to be a successful archetype. Uh, if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, you are probably aware that I think Archon of Amiria is the best hate bear in Vintage, and it, all it needs is a good shell uh, to be built around it. it. It really lacks some powerful cards uh, in its shell. So this is the list that Montolio started with, and we're gonna we're gonna make some changes because I think there are there are some things that I would like to to change. Uh, and so this is what we're playing tonight. The main thing that we are changing in this list is I think. The best card with Archon of Amiria is Cavern of Souls. Having an uncounterable Archon is going to give you extremely potent game plan against every combo-oriented deck in the format and will still be good against the non-combo decks as well. Uh, the biggest problem with Archon and Cavern together is there are no more Archons. <laughs> if this was a human rider on an Archon... Uh, then it would be you know quite simple, quite easy. Um, so what I had chosen to do is Andy's list has a a wide array of you know spirit, core artificer, human soldier, archon, orc cleric, uh, human warrior, warrior, good guess, uh, uh, elemental and human soldier. So. Um, what I did was I cut the Stoneforge Mystic package and I lowered the amount of removal in the deck. Um, the reason I cut the Stoneforge Mystic, pack, Stoneforge Mystic package is I think you should already be okay in the matches where Stoneforge is good. Uh, and, and the Stoneforge Mystic package plays horribly with Cavern of Souls because you can't activate Stoneforge with Cavern of Souls. Uh, and, and in its place, what I have done is added a wide variety of humans. So we have uh, Lumi. Uh, I really think this card actually does a similar thing to Stoneforge Mystic and helps you win the creature matchups. Uh, and then I've added two Loran of the Third Path, which is a um, Loran of the Third Path, which is a new card from the Brothers War, which is uh, it's a relic, uh, not relic, a Reclamation Sage. It can destroy up to one artifact or enchantment. Kills Urza's Saga, which I think could be really strong in this deck. Uh, not to mention is a legendary creature that can be picked up with Caracas and has the special third ability where you and the opponent each draw a card quite strong with Spirit of the Labyrinth, which we are playing as a four of. I do think Spirit of the Labyrinth is at its best right now in Vintage that it's ever been. The number of non-dredge bizarre decks is quite high. Uh, so this card hits a huge, huge swath of the format now uh, with shops on a downturn and non-dredge bizarre being quite high. Uh, yeah, it, it's not the best Relic Warder, but uh, Relic Warder is a very hard-to-cast magic card. We've also added two Anointed Peacekeeper. This is a card I've actually had played against me when I thought it was quite reasonable. Um, I misread this card when I first saw it. I thought you had to choose a card that was in their hand. That is not the case. You can choose any card. Uh, and that card will cost more to cast and cost more to activate, uh, which which can actually be pretty strong in Vintage. I've, I've definitely liked it. Um, then, you know, combining with our initiative... Eight initiative units and four removal spells in solitude. I really like the idea of this deck. Um, for those who don't know, initiative is like the monarch almost, but uh, more powerful probably. Uh, you get to journey into the undercity, uh, making your creatures bigger, doming your opponent for five life. Completing the undercity like just takes a card out of the top ten and throws it into play with a bunch of counters. 
Um, it's crazy, crazy powerful dungeon, uh, and that will be what we will be trekking through tonight. I did cut the second Caracas because I don't have the heart to play two Caracas in a deck. Uh, I just, <laughs> uh, I just can't do it. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, I mean we we do have Thalia. I do think Thalia is like not as good as it used to be, but it's still fine. And we are playing our five wastelands. I did up the number of mana accelerants compared to what Andy had. I am playing the Lotus Petal and I am playing the Mana Crypt. I just want to play these stupid large creatures ahead of curve and i think that's mostly it i added serenity to the, si to the sideboard and i also put a jailer from the main into the board i don't think jailer is bad i just i'm not convinced that you need you know four solitude two swords two jailer eight removal spells that's kind of crazy to me so uh yeah we're gonna just jump right into to round one and i'm, I'm expecting some good things from these cards we'll see what happens if you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. Okay, round one, Vintage League with Dungeon Stompy. We're playing against Soul King, usually like a PO player. Uh, our hand does have a turn one season Dungeoneer, but I think this is a little bit too much man. Oh, it doesn't have a turn one season Dungeoneer. I have miscounted my mana. All right, well, well this is an easy mulligan. Um, this one doesn't have a second white source unless the adventure resolves. Because for those who do not know the Undercity, how could you not know the Undercity? Uh, the Undercity, very first secret entrance, gets us a basic land. So I'm going to keep this and, uh, hope to God my opponent doesn't counter my white plume adventure. Because <laughs> I think that's all we have going for us here. certainly a risk but it's a risk i'm willing to take it's just a three three all right we have taken the initiative we have gone into the undercity and we have taken a snow covered plains which we will play cool all right uh this thing's other ability is that on each upkeep untap a creature you control and if you have completed a dungeon untap all creatures you control that's actually a surprisingly good ability i watched uh, the andy video and he untapped with a a, a buffed solitude to be able to block, which was quite good. Uh, my opponent has probed me, so if they have a combo kill, we they have a combo kill. Not much we can do about it. They will know to fetch a basic island, and uh, yeah, we get the F six, so win for us. I mean, I think our turn two is, like, pretty reasonable as well. We get to play Thalia. Maybe we Wasteland them. If they, you know, play a basic island, if we draw a Plains, we can go Thalia. Luminarch. Oh, they don't have a basic. Okay. They have an Academy and an Opal, so this is definitely P.O. Uh, is that it? Okay. Ancestral? No. Another. Okay. All right. They have a top, maybe. The good news is this Wasteland has high value. A key, that's the worst thing that could have happened because now they can untap their mana vault and cast PO for three. I could have, of course, played Thalion turn one, which would be more threatening for my opponent's board. Ooh. That is not great. Because I, uh, I did cut a bunch of removal from my deck. So I do have four solitudes, but we'll see what happens. Um, it is our upkeep, so we are venturing further into the Undercity. Uh, at this point, you can either scry two or put two counters on a creature. Typically, you're always forging, putting counters on creatures. Uh, the, the next one, Trap, is really, really strong. Uh, make opponent lose five life. Uh, I'm going to forge onto my Plume Adventure, who is a 5-5 five five now. Uh, and take some damage. So... Cavern. Interesting. Wow. Now we come to a very... We come to very much a decision point. Because we could play an uncounterable Thalia, which makes us have an uncounterable Luminar Casper, because my opponent is tapped out. If we do that, we don't get to Wasteland our opponent's Talarian Academy, and that gives them way too much blue mana. So... I'm going to just play the Thalia, hope he doesn't get countered, and then wasteland my opponent's Talarian. 
We also have a free attack. We get to attack for five, and then we get to untap our white plume adventurer. Uh-huh. That one, please. All right, so my opponent has a blue mana and a manifold key and a mentor, but I don't know. I think we are currently in a reasonable position. I sh they are uh, five damage is coming from trap next turn. Saga? Okay, maybe a bait on this Talarian Academy. <laughs> Uh, uh-huh. I'm not convinced we're winning this game, but we're not currently losing it too badly. The biggest problem is, like I said, the Stalia not really slowing them down. They can just untap this Mana Vault. They don't have an attack, though, so they can't steal back the initiative or whatever this initiative. Yes? Cool. All right, so now we get to Undercity uh, into the trap. Kill them five. No, I don't think gold is as good as dealing them five. I don't think I want to goad. This is probably one of the most closest places to go to goad, but I, I, I just don't think it's I don't think it's what you want to be doing. Uh, I think I would rather play a second one. Yeah, I mean, goad would make the mentor attack me next turn, but the man, the mana vault will not kill my opponent because they have a manifold key. Uh, I do think this lets me just take more initiatives, right? So we'll go to the Dead Throne soon. So I probably want to do that. I think maybe we just go Cavern Cleric, play Adventure. Um, I guess the first thing we do is attack. I can actually attack with both. Is they don't have a? They have to have exactly a slow tutor for that attack to be bad. I could instead just go Lumi, put it on Thalia, attack for a more lethal attack. Oh, I guess I could. Technically, this is these are both clerics. Did I learn that right now? Maybe. Um. Well, there's no downside to doing that. I just don't know if I want to play Lumi or White Plume. So no matter what, it's just a draw card that I get. I don't know what I could draw into besides Solitude is probably my only draw that matters. Or Solitude's 4 and 51. Yeah, that's probably worth. That's true. Planes. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I don't think I'm going to attack with Thalia. I think the... Well, if my opponent has a Mystical or a Vampiric, we just die. So I actually think it's fine then. Let's just attack with Thalia. Because if they have one of the Fast Tutors, which is the most likely thing they could have, they, they would just kill us on the spot, so... Uh, I get to untap with both because I have two adventures. That's pretty cool. I'm going to do... <laughs> you, you'll probably hear me say a lot of things where I'm learning things. Because I am. I haven't played with these cards yet. So we're learning things as we go. So my opponent does have a construct. And the construct isn't a million a million. But we are going to finish this Undercity and then look to maybe trap them as the way of finishing this game. Alright, so we finished the Undercity, which means all of our creatures untap, and we get to... What do we do? Reveal 10 cards, put a creature... Oh, oh, we just solitude the crap out of them. Oh. Or... Or... Or this thing. What is this thing? This thing has a... Whenever you attack, target cleric, rogue, warrior gains protection from creatures. What? Serious? Okay. 
And we initiative again, so we go get a basic planes. Okay, well, I mean, I thought these cards were good, but these cards are really good. Like, they're all unblockable, right? Because they're all clerics. Oh, no, no, no. It only is one of them. It's only one of them. Whenever I attack, not whenever a cleric, rogue, or wizard. Why is this worded so weirdly? Uh, Yeah, so I'm just going to, I don't know, play an archive. I don't know if this is necessary. Probably not. So I just attack with this one and give it protection. And it explores? Okay. Weird. Why does it explore? Why doesn't it venture? Shouldn't we be taking the initiative and venturing into a dungeon? Why are we exploring? I guess dungeoning is like exploring. <sighs> yeah, all right, whatever. I'll let it go. I'll let it go. All right, so I attack, and I just because I attack, I can target this because it's a cleric. It's a soldier. So, okay, so let's go back and look at party cards. We have a spirit. That's not a party card. This is a cleric. This is not anything. This is a cleric. This is a cleric. Oh, okay. We got a bunch of clerics. And this is a warrior. Okay. This is an elemental incarnation, so. Do they have something? Is this a repeal? Wow. Uh-oh. So we can die to Tinker or uh, Time Vault next turn. That's crazy. They will die to this uncounterable trap next turn as well. So uh, you don't want to, yeah, you don't want to untap this because you want to be able to draw into Vault Key. Though they don't have enough mana for Tinker or Time Vault at the moment. Repeal was definitely the best card they could have had in their hand there. They have to never let me have another turn because I'm going to get to go into the dungeon and then into the dungeon uncounterably, which will go to Trap, and then they'll die. So, this looks good. Okay. I also have another pro creature attack. True. Alright, that's the only spell they can cast because we have an Archon. So, this game is over. Archon is like... It just, I, I can't stress that Arch Like Even if they had a land, it would probably come into play tapped. Archon is nuts. This is the best hate bear in Magic, for Vintage anyways. All right, we we have successfully won the game. That was a little dicey, but uh, we got there. Uh, on the draw, I will bring in these traps, even though I don't really like my... I, I don't usually play Mind Break Trap. I don't think it's great, um, but I will bring them in. We have them. Stony Silence is fantastic here. Uh, I won't bring in... I, I kind of only want Serenity for um, shops, is why I put it in my sideboard. I don't think I'm going to bring in Kataki. I personally don't think Kataki is very good against Pio. Um, that might be more of a personal thing. But uh, I will leave in Lorans because they are on Saga. I don't think it's worth having an answer to Monastery Mentor. Just die. I'll just die if they have it. It's fine. Um, I like Thalia. I like Spirit. We can probably take out a Lumi. This is not the matchup where we need Lumi. Maybe we'll just play Kataki's over Lumi, though. What are these things? Are these a clerics as well? 
Or are they just spirits? Just spirits. Maybe I will just take out Lumi. I just don't think you need Lumi in this matchup at all. So, Kaki's probably better. I don't think I want Serenity. Lumi answers Sphinx. Holy shit, it answers Sphinx. True. Loran, Loran answers Sphinx. That is a nice pickup. Nice. I think this is good. This looks like a really good cyborg plan versus Pio. Yeah, I, I like the the the. I thought that that card might be good in our deck, so that's why we're trying it tonight. Uh, this hand is not keepable. Okay, so like, I, I I this came up in the Discord. When you play these decks, you almost always are mulliganing two. Like it's kind of like playing bizarre. When you play bizarre, you mulligan to a bizarre. When you play aggressive uh, decks, aggro creature decks in Vintage, you typically mulligan two mana rocks. You want to be playing a two drop or a three drop on turn one in your opening hand every game. So like this hand, you know, yeah, it has good creatures against PO, but it's just entirely too slow. We need to be playing these creatures on turn one. So we get the mulligan this hand. Uh, we definitely have the mulligan this hand. Now that we're at five cards and we have a mind break trap, we might be just supposed to keep this hand and we have a Thalia stone. Like these are the three or two of the best cards against their deck and we have a way to maybe survive. Probably supposed to keep this one. I'm not happy about it. Like we really are only drawing to eight cards that are going to like realistically be great for us. Any other land is fine for us, but... I, this is like not a hand I would keep on seven probably, but on five I think it's fine. And I do think I'm going to get rid of both of the dungeon cards because these are like three very good anti combo cards. So I'm going to f six, and then uh, we'll see what happens. When I play mind break trap, I if you play mind break trap, I always recommend trying to f six and then f three very quickly. <laughs> well, those might not be your key bindings, so don't listen to me, but. Um, try not to show you have the mind break trap if possible. So like after the second spell, I would probably hit like after the second spell instantly resolves. I'd probably try to hit F three really quickly. All right, so they didn't have it. Uh, Moxin is our single best draw. Well, our single best draw is Black Lotus. Our second best draw is my Mana Crypt, and then any other uh, Mox. Hello. All right, so here's an interesting choice. We're playing against Pio. They don't have a land yet. <sighs> Do we... Si I, I don't think we Stony Silence. I think we just play a Thalia. I, I missequenced this again. That was a misplay. Uh, you should sequence your Mox Jet first so your opponent doesn't know what land you have. Uh, that way, they're less likely to counter your Mox Jet. What's up, Noga? Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I, I just did the same misplay that I always make. Oh my god, they have Strip Mine? In their P.O. deck? Hello? Oh, sheesh. Okay. Well, we're going to have to draw more running lands. Not a land. <laughs> I did not expect Strip Mine from P.O. Thanks for everyone's resubs. Much appreciated. Wow. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> this is a weird card. Uh, I think we'll just name Spirit. Not a great card with my Stony Silence for what it's worth. But uh, this uh, Spirit is quite good against PO, so not bad either. Yeah, they had a Mox Opal in game one. Almost always, if you see a Mox Opal, it's PO. There are people who bring in Strip Mine post board or something. I'm doing good. We were talking about you the other day, Noka. I had, I had all over. Maybe I gotta have you over too. The new place. 
Can we get everybody over and just do like a board game night or something? I don't know. Things were crazy for the first couple months that I was here, but now that everything has settled down, once uh, holidays kick in, wait a second, that's a tropical island. What is happening? Okay. Is it gonna be a Sphinx? No, it's a Citadel, but they can't. Oh, I'm gonna trap that. The good news is they can't use top with the spirit implant. All right, go I have no idea what's happening. I have no idea. What is going on? Okay. Uh, there's a Renin 6 strip mine lock in their PO deck. Hmm. Uh, Renin 6 does casually kill my 3 1. Um, now they have a top and 11 life to work with, so. I thought my opponent was on PO. My opponent might still be on PO, but they are certainly on their own deck of design here. Uh, there are currently no decks playing Tinker, Renin 6, Urza Saga. Uh, this, this is something. There's a Tundra. There's a Mentor. There's, uh... Oof, man. Okay. Basic Island, Tundra, Tropical, Urza, Saga, Renin 6 Strip might lock me. I mean, that's a way to live. This game got a lot harder for me, but I'm not really ready to concede yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm not going to concede yet. I don't think it's lost, lost. I'm going to hold this though. Hmm. I am like kind of glad my mind break trap hit Karn because that would definitely have lost us the game but at the same time Mystic Sanctuary no you can't play Mystic Sanctuary in this deck you can't you can't do it how do you get away with this no, you can't. There's no you. You can. This is you can't. No, this isn't how mana pieces work. They are. They played a saga in in game one. There's a mystic sanctuary, a red and six, a tundra, a saga, a strip mine, a basic island. You can't do this. I think actually, if they didn't have Renin Six, there's a high likelihood we win this game just with three one attacking. Like they're gonna be pretty low on life. We have a three one attacker. I think that would have been good enough. What? All right, so I was wrong. I was wrong. They're not on PO. <laughs> they're, they're not on PO. They are just on a... A... A Minsk... Uh, 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 a Planeswalker Tinker deck. All right, I'm going to take out these Mind Break Traps. And I am going to bring in... Um... I guess I can bring Lumi back in. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna bring Solitude back in. Maybe a, I'm gonna bring Kataki's back out, and I'm gonna bring Lumi and Lumi. I'm not even sure I want Stony Silence anymore. I'm not even. I don't even think I want Stony Silence anymore. I mean, they are a Mox Oval deck. But if they're on green and I get vigored. I don't know. I don't know. It's sus. Super sus. All 
I'm going to leave it. Their Tolarian Academy. There's a Tolarian Academy in their Mystic Sanctuary, Basic Island, Strip Mine, Urza Saga, Tundra, Ren and Six Minx deck. This is not. Whoa. Keep. Think they have the green count for vigor? Does it matter? It clearly, numbers don't matter here, Slasher. <laughs> This is like when you cast Collected Company on your upkeep because you feel like it's going to be better. Shout out to Magic Twitter for that one. Uh, so this is a situation where my Cavern of Souls is really bad. But the fact that I am Cavern of Soulsing a... Initiative creature means I will get the basic planes. So, actually, not bad. Human. Uh, what the fuck? Sorry, excuse me. Uh, Magic Online was not happy with that declaration of mana. All right. My mana has been fixed. Initiative is what Saga dreamed to be. I don't, I don't know. That one's a stretch, but we'll let it go. Yeah, I think the I do agree that the basic land part has been very good for what it's worth. Am I just gonna get turn one tinkered after all of this? Opal mana crypt tinka. Basic island. I guess I should have kept man a Mind Break Trap in my deck. Would have been better than Solitude here. Oh, boy. Is this P.O.? Mystical Probe Tinker? I should have kept in Mind Break Trap. I should have just kept in Mind Break Trap. Ancestral? We're just dead. We're just dead. We're, we're just dead. My opponent's just gonna tinker Vault Key. I need to draw Stony Silence. Gross. All right, I mean, I've been bested in the arena of ideas here. Turns out you can just play any card in your deck if you have Tinker. <laughs> uh. I, I I did, I mean, this could have been a, a Mind Break Trap, which would have won us this game, for what it's worth. Maybe it wouldn't have won us this game. I would have had to counter Mystical. Should I have gone for Scry? Yeah, maybe. They're not going to go Citadel, they're just going to Volt Key me. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to Scry for Sony Silence. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. My opponent, uh, I mean, they cast one, like, very many restricted cards, and I died, so it happens. All right, here we go. Round two. Hopefully, it'll go better than that one. Uh, ooh. Ew, ew. Ew, 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 ew. Am I stupid? I want to just get rid of this hand. I think this hand's bad. I'm gonna mulligan this hand. I just don't think I think that this hand is good enough to win games. I kind of hate it. Uh, this hand does not have white mana, which is unfortunate. This was a so I something I debated was Chrome Box. I don't know that it would be the Mind Break Trap, but the Solitude came in in the same boarding that the Mind Break Trap came back out, so it could have been a Mind Break Trap. Uh, I mean, I can't keep this hand. All right, this hand's great. Um, uh, Technically, hmm.
It's possible I'm missing, uh, I should be playing some number of Chrome Moxes. It's definitely possible. My opponent is on Cradle Vine, uh, newest iteration of Hogak. So the starting hand with Wasteland would have been a little bit nice, but this hand's pretty good too. We have to put two cards on the bottom. I am interested in putting... I'm interested in playing turn one Dungeoneer, to be perfectly honest. So I'm going to put one of the planes on the bottom and the Thalia on the bottom. And I will play the two cards I think are good in the matchup. And I'm going to go... Well, maybe I want to keep the planes and put the Tomb on the bottom. Because I have a Mana Crypt. Yeah, maybe that's better. I'll do Thalia Tomb on the bottom and go turn one Dungeoneer. <laughs> Pure's like, yes, turn one Thalia, easy win. And I'm just like, yeah, bottom Thalia. No shot. My opponent's deck doesn't really play spells, so. Non-creature spells, I should probably say. All right, this is going to outsize my opponent very quickly with the Forge. The cool thing with red is you get to play the other initiative creature, the Caves of Chaos Adventure. I don't know if that's really worth it. Um, like, currently, my uh, my version is stretching really hard to play Caverns, so... <laughs> true, true. Oh, look, a non-creature spell. Just so, just so chat can yell at me. Thank you. I'm much appreciated. Hollow one. That currently is going to outsize our Dungeoneer until we forge. Um, Chaos Adventure is a human. Okay, my opponent has the average uh, Vengevine hand, which is nine free power on turn one. Which means they're going to steal the initiative and I'm not going to get to forge. Uh, good god. This deck is so... It's just so broken. <laughs> it's just so broken. Um, I don't even know... I guess I let them take it. Because then I can make a 4-5 next turn with my Lumi. I don't know. I, I I am getting really fed up with Bizarre of Baghdad recently. If you watch my latest video that aired today, uh, good God. I, it's just... I I feel like Blazing Rootwalla might have broke it. If I didn't have paper tournaments to be playing in right now, I would be playing a ton of Cradle Vine. Uh, so do I, would I rather have a 4-5 or a 3-2 first strike? I think I need a 4-5 first and then a 3-2 first strike. Um, this thing could attack and hit in and explore, but I needed to block. The good news is next turn I can attack with my Luminarch Aspirin and give it pro creatures and get uh, an explorer off, maybe? We'll see. Oh, I guess this means they forge. Good God, I don't. It's too rough, man. Oh uh, no, I mean you don't restrict the lizards; you just restrict Hollow One. Yeah, but then I take twelve on the swing back. Like, what am I doing? Maybe I had to put the counter on Thalia and then attack with the Dungeoneer. That's probably true. Yeah, you're right. I made a mistake. I should have done that. That play looks a lot better. I agree. I think that play was a lot better. I'm too busy complaining about cards that are beating me, as YouTube comments so kindly put it. Oh, cool. They have another hollow one. Awesome. 
You know what we really need? We need the the orc that lets us untap things. Though I guess we're gonna die to this mana crypt. How many? We've lost all of our flips so far. I true. I I am at least consistent. I will always complain about bizarre whether I win or lose. <laughs> I've lost all of my flips. Uh, you're a little late there, wasteland. Oh, I'm just actually just dead dead. Okay, cool. Awesome. Like this this deck is just completely broken. Uh, like like I I I will tell you right now. If I didn't not own Bazaar of Baghdad's in paper, I think there's a high likelihood I would have registered it at Eternal Weekend. Uh, Rap Trap is not good against my opponent. Uh, none of these cards are good against my opponent. I don't even have Tabernacles or anything in my board. Um, cool. Alright, well, I have nothing then. I could theoretically bring in Kataki. That's probably better than Thalia. Uh, Chalice is horrible. Uh, no, they actually, I mean, it's fine. Containment Priest is fine. It only really hits Vengevine, which is like, <sighs> it's annoying. It's the problem, but it is what it is. I think the style, like, Thalia's are good because of First Strike, but besides that, they're not very good. Uh, but I think this thing can name Bazaar, right? Activated abilities of sources with the chosen name can cost two more to activate unless their mana ability is sick. Awesome. I, I don't know. I, 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 man. I don't know. I, I wouldn't play Athalia in this matchup. Okay, so I get to play a turn one spirit, and then that's pretty reasonable on this board, and then I can mop up uh, a hollow one. So, like, Thalia would be good with Aspirin if you had any amount of time, but I just never find that I have enough time for something like that to come, to actually happen. Maybe, maybe I, you know, that maybe last game's an anomaly, but I haven't found that to be the case. I think the average amount of power that a uh, eight Walla deck puts into play on turn one is nine. I think most hands put in nine power. The bad news about Spirit is it's an enchantment, so I can actually get uh, Vigored here, which would be devastating. Looks like they have it. Yep. Awesome. I, I don't know, Grim. Like, it's possible I'm hitting a really bad end of variance, but I just feel like 9 power in play on turn 1 is not really possible for anyone to beat without a Tabernacle. So. Yeah, I mean, like, whatever's the... <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I think I made the best play. And, alright, hey, so here's 9 power. Oh, they didn't... Okay, so I would probably never pitch Rootwalla if it wasn't bringing back Vengevine. But I'll take it. Vigor, Vigor. The thing is, I was more upset when Vigor was like killing ley lines and stuff, but that is like no longer. That's like no longer the problem because Bizarre decks have actually just gotten away from the graveyard almost completely. Just kind of weird. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Um, so I'm just going to strip mine this too. I, I don't know. I, I feel like it, it, yeah, maybe it's like recently, but recency bias for, for it's, it's possible. It's recently recency bias. I just feel like. It's nine power most of the time. Maybe the average is more like six or something, but. Like, I think most games, it's like one hollow, one, one root walla, one vengevine. And that's insane, I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Ooh, pretty good against my deck. 
<laughs> Second Kaya's Cradle. Okay. Uh, I need to draw a Solitude this turn, I guess. I just think that the current versions of uh, this Ho like this Hogak deck that I've been calling Cradle Vine, I think it removes almost all of the weaknesses from the archetype. I think the only weakness it couldn't remove is a bad Doomsday matchup. But I think it, re I think it, I actively think it removes every other weakness of the archetype, which is really scary. Uh, I mean, I'm just dead, right? Like, like this deck is no longer weak or like as weak to Tabernacle, and it's no longer really weak to Graveyard Hate. So like, what what is it weak to? I have one more turn to draw Solitude. Maybe Montolio is right, and you do need to play like four swords. It's possible. This experience is certainly an argument against me cutting the swords, right? Yeah, I mean, like, I'm allowed to be wrong. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like I'm wrong very often, but sometimes I'm wrong. Again, I'm not really sure there are very many other decks that you want eight removal spells against, but it's true. Uh, yeah, all right, well, I mean, I'm just going to lose the initiative to this thing, but maybe I can race. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, like, I played really badly in game one. I don't think if I played correctly, I would have won the game because I did end up with that extra hollow one. Uh, but clearly I played, like, oh, I mean, I took a really bad line where I let them forge, and then that was not, that was not, like, it wasn't possible for me to win after that, so. Who knows? Can't I attack with my containment priest? It's a fucking cleric? Yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah, I, I could have. It's like I didn't know it was a Okay, yeah, it's fine. Nah, I would have had protection from creatures. <laughs> I I all right, I'll I'll be honest. I didn't think about it being a cleric. All right, so this thing attacks for six. I go to 11. <laughs> I, made, I, I made a mistake. It happened. Another one. <laughs> Everything's a cleric. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> okay. So I attack first, right? Well, no, I want to forge first. This race looks pretty good, especially with an untap. I don't know why I tapped both white sources. Maybe this beer is hitting me. I played this, you know, terribly. Sorry, chat. I, I am objectively playing awful, so that's on me. No, they both give the same amount of dungeon triggers. Oh, does it give more? Oh, fuck. Okay, you're right. Well, uh, what about two damage, though? Doesn't matter. Hmm. Uh, I didn't really think about it. I'm, I, oh, I thought about it, but I think we want this. Hmm. 
No, wait, why am I at 11? Go to 5. So I hit them for 8. They go to 12. I go to 5. Could I have played this if I had tapped better? No. Does this win, though? I mean, my gut tells me this wins. Or is good. So I'm just going to follow it. I don't know why I'm playing this, like, just so loosey-goosey. Maybe it's a Wednesday night. Maybe I'm done with work for the week. Sipping my double pig's ear brown ale. Listening to chat tell me how to play. In fact, they know these cards better than I do. Because I've actually just not... I learned so much about these cards just today already. It's crazy. I guess that the Containment Priest does stop a Venge Vine, which is kind of cool, huh? I am a software engineer. In fact, I just got promoted the other uh, the other week, which was nice. Which is dope. Engineer specialist now. So things are going well. And then next weekend, I'm off to Italy, play Four Seasons, and then off to uh, Philly and playing Eternal Weekend. It's great. Thanks. Uh, we definitely had an opportunity to play Lauren. I think I... Well, I was... First, I was holding it for Solitude, but that might not have come up. Software. I software that. I, I soft the engineer. Wait. I had a joke there. Can't remember what it was. Oh, well. All right. So my opponent, they, they were just racing because this thing gives pro. It doesn't give everything. <laughs> Every time I read this, I'm like, it gives everything pro creatures. No, it only gives one attacking cleric party member. Attacking party member. Alright, what do we got? Rudy boy. And... Another cradle. Six mana? Does that mean it's they have a, a hard cast vine? How do we win? I don't know. I don't think we win. I think I was supposed to put these counters on my Dungeoneer. Not on my Containment Priest. Which is kind of... Goes against normal heuristics, but... Oh, wait. Don't we dome them for five? I made a lot of mistakes in this game. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to put my counters on my Dungeoneer because I'm trying to get a lethal Dungeoneer attack. Oh, no. I'm dead. No, 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 no. They didn't get to trap. They didn't get to the trap. They only got to forge. All right, we're safe. We're safe. We're safe. Oh, the two Dungeoneers gives two unblockables. I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> These cards are broken. These cards are carrying me, even though I have no idea what's going on. That's hilarious. I didn't even think about that. I was thinking I would have to uh, hit a non-creature spell off my Explore to win the game. Which is not even correct. That's only 10 damage. <laughs> oh, boy. Trap. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have to play it pre-combat so I can get the two protection from creatures triggers. <laughs> Uh, non-land, sure. I will, I will, I will graveyard that nonsense. Or maybe I should have kept that on top so that I could have, uh, not shown my opponent I have Katakis in my deck. Not that I think Kataki is good, besides killing turn one hollow one, but. Alright, so against my, uh, against my, against my best efforts, we did win that game. Maybe I need a palace jailer. I tried really hard to lose the game, chat, but it didn't happen. Yeah, it hasn't been it's okay. We we got we have time to regroup, pull out a nice video. 
It reveals anyways? All right, safe. <laughs> You're right. It has to reveal, right? I, I haven't played it with Explore in a long time. Explore was a pretty good standard, if I remember. Spirit seems miserable versus Vigor. Yeah, but uh, it's also great against Bizarre of Baghdad. I don't know about having no trouble. My opponent can put 20 free plower and play on turn one, and I have no tabernacle in my deck. I feel like I... I mean, Explorer was uh, a tireless tracker, right? Tireless tracker, great magic card. Beautiful magic card. Masterpiece, as uh, as what, Andrew Brown would say. Is that who that is? Yeah. This hand is interesting. I don't think it's interesting. I think it's unkeepable. That's landfall. That you tireless tracker explores. Doesn't explore. Shit. That's landfall. It's like explore. All right. Uh. 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 uh hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I remember. I remember. It's one. It's a green. Green. It's a two. One. With double explore, it's called, I have no idea, Jade Light Ranger. That's the one. And there's also a one in a green explore once. There's also a one in a green explore once. I, okay, I don't remember if explore was better. I was definitely thinking about Tireless Tracker. Merfolk Branch Walker. Yes. Yes. Okay, uh, back to this hand. Someone in chat said it's interesting. I think it's unkeepable. I'm going to continue with my assumption it's unkeepable. Hmm. This hand is good against exactly Hogak. It's good against turn one, multiple hollow ones. And that's kind of it. I think this is bad. Try again. All right, yeah, this hand's good. This is it doesn't have removal in it, but I think what we do is hmm. Wow. Cavern bottom and which creature to the bottom? I guess we just have to put the peacekeeper on the bottom and. Maybe we can put the adventure on the bottom. We were probably going to lose the initiative. So if we put the peacekeeper, we can like make bizarre or hollow. Uh, uh, if they have like a hex drinker hand, could be good against hex drinker. That might be insane. I mean, we're going to get vigored and lose, but you know, in case we don't get vigored and lose. I mean, my opponent kept a seven card hand. I can't imagine we like, we're gonna get vigored, right? I mean, we need to rip mana either way, right? They're both three mana cards. Uh, black lotus, green mana. Once upon a time, number two. Bazaar of Baghdad. Powerful wizardry. Okay. I mean, if you look eight cards deep for Bazaar of Baghdad, if you look ten cards deep for Bazaar of Baghdad, you will likely find it. It really did. I'm not going to lie. I think the London Mulligan was a huge mistake for Constructed. I hate the London Mulligan. Okay, they have a Vengevine and a Rootwalla. Do they have nine power? Yep, they have nine power. Oh, no, that's not nine power. That's six power. Okay, below average hand. That's a below average hand. We have to be happy about that. All right, I'm just going to play my Spirit and hope I don't get Vigored. 
and then hopefully we can play a peacekeeper i guess and name death right shaman or something i don't know man we're we kind of need a lumi maybe a lumi's not even good enough uh blah 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 blah, blah. We didn't get Vigored, which is nice. They do have a second Cradle, though. Uh, that's bad. That is actively bad for us. Oh! Ho, ho, ho! Beseju coming in from the top corner, the top rope, as it were. I just have had no fun playing against this deck. It feels like I just get murdered every time. It hurts on the inside. Oh, yeah. This is bad. This is real bad. So I can Wasteland the Gaia's Cradle and Peacekeeper the Bazaar. And... 10... Doesn't look good. I mean, we're trying to take the initiative, but we are uh, absolutely getting outclassed by Tinker and, oh my god, and Bazaar of Baghdad, so. So if I play an Anointed Peacekeeper and I Wasteland the Gaia's Cradle, then I... I block the Vengevine and take six and go to three. Well, it's not good enough. Okay. That's the trick, though. I don't think those were good hands. I think those are just average hands. All right, round three. Not going as well as I'd hoped, but... A lot of that is pilot error, so let's see if we can learn and play a little bit stronger, better, faster here. This hand uh, does not include a white mana source, so. I have had a lot of hands that didn't have white mana sources, and I have been very saddened by that. It's possible Chrome Mox is the solution. I'm going to keep this hand, and I'm actually going to just um, put away the Solitude. I'm not really thrilled about this hand, but I think it is good enough against a variety of decks that it's fine. On the draw, probably not keepable, but on the play, maybe we can go like planes into Archon and then waste waste or something. Yeah, I don't think Amiria's call is playable. Uh, okay. That's not going to go as well as you hoped, opponent. So I'm going to lead with the Archon. And, uh, because then they can't really play anything because the land will be tapped. And, uh, my di Mox Diamond is not restricted, but I think Mox Diamond is not really a good card. I would, I mean, I don't think Chrome Mox is a good card either, but I think Chrome Mox is a lot better than Mox Diamond. Oh, yeah, this is going to go very badly for you, opponent. <laughs> I'm going to leave that Trinisphere there all game as I just slam Haymakers. So I'm going to play Lauren and kill the Saga, and then I'm going to Wasteland the Ancient Tomb. <laughs> and my opponent is just oh so dead. Yeah, Archon of Amiria is a drug, a hell of a drug, and opponent let that... Let it let it into their system with this Trinisphere. This lo I love this card. I don't know killing Urza sagas. It just makes me feel good inside. I just <laughs> it just feels really good. <laughs> I just really really enjoy it. I'm probably gonna even draw cards at the end of their turn. I 
think this card's probably really pretty reasonable in this deck. All right, so they do have a workshop. I had to kill Saga. The reason I had to kill Saga is if my opponent has an Ancient Tomb backup plan, then they get a creature. Maybe I don't even have to because who cares, but what does this say? You and target opponent. Ah, Commander. Got it. <laughs> Value. Oh, two mentors tapped. You're right. I didn't have to wasteland it. True, but isn't in, isn't this more fun? Isn't this more fun? Okay, so my opponent is on a Grim Monolith Chopstick, which makes me think we want Mind Break Traps and Stony Silences and probably Serenity. Uh, I'm likely to take out Solitude and Lumi. And I'll probably bring in these Katakis as well. And we'll take out eh, one Chalice on the draw. We play Mind Break. Okay, right. Mind Break Trap was in the original list, and I chose not to cut it. I like this hand. This hand's sweet. Imagine going to my, watching my YouTube video and going, wow, Vintage is the worst format ever. Like, what, who, what? Why are you here? What are you doing? Go watch something else. <laughs> People are crazy, man. Oh, we do have the combo. True. I'm a little worried he might get turn one killed. Like, they could be on uh, jewel shops. Like, if this is a coveted jewel, things are bad. Oh, my God. They have nine mana chat. Oh, we're so dead. We are just unbelievably dead. Moon Silver Key. Find a coveted jewel. How many players in chat know what coveted jewel does? Oy boy, oy boy. That is a hand of Magic the Gathering cards if I've ever seen one. I can just have six, I guess. Is it a Metamorph? Or a PO? Time Walk. Okay. Time Walk is not the worst outcome there. Let's see what happens on the untap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's an ancestral that makes three mana of any color, and if I hit them, I can get it back, or I can take it from them. <laughs> All right, I think this is lethal, but we'll let them play it out a little bit. They're here to game. Let them let them game for a little while. Hitting them and not being blocked is very, or not being blocked and hitting them is very similar. The KCI League will go on my YouTube channel, but I don't know when, uh, Zajad, because what I'm going to try to do is in the next, like, four days, I'm going to try to film as many videos as I can. Uh, that way, I can hopefully have a video every single, you know, I, I release Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right? So I'm hoping to continue releasing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, even when I'm away. So I'm going to build up a little backlog and uh, try to release every day anyways. So. Like, so I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose Wednesday night next week. I'm going to lose Saturday next week. I'm going to lose. I, I think I will actually be able to stream Wednesday night the following week, but I will lose that Saturday. So I'm trying to just build up a little couple couple extra videos. Should be fine. Shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, all right. I, can I concede chat? Have you seen enough? Let me know if you've seen enough. 
<laughs> if you haven't seen enough, go check out my combo jewel shops video with Drafna. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to concede chat. It's fine. They, they are going to make a bunch of mana and do something. So I'm going to bring Chalice back in. And I'm going to take... I just don't think these Serenities are great. It's not really the matchup we want, Serenity. I, I guess I'll keep one Serenity, sure. So I, I'm always going to keep that hand, even if I can sometimes die on turn one. Like, I'm not going to mulligan to two of Mind Break Trap. It's not worth it. You just have to take the L sometimes. This is one of those times. All right, on the play, what do we got? Turn one, double initiative. Is that actually good enough? I attack for 12 on turn 2, and it's a turn 3 lethal. Creature matchups. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep it. So, like, I have um, six power, and then it becomes eight power, and they take five, and they go to 15, and then it takes two attacks to kill them. Theoretically, I could maybe scry. No, probably not. I mean, I'm going to keep it, and we'll lose if we lose. Yo, what's up, Andy? Tonight has been going very poorly. Partially my fault, to be fair. We got beat. By four color red and six minx and boo tinker. And then we got crushed by cradle vine. Um should we go mana crypt white plume adventure or yeah, we'll go mana crypt white plume adventure. Cause I think we want the dungeon near to be uncounterable. I've also learned a lot about these magic cards in the last hour and 45 minutes. <laughs> they have a lot of words on them that I did not know. This, I don't think, is like going to pique their interest to counter, which is kind of nice. Uh, though, maybe they counter this Black Lotus. I would also like to name Human if I can help it, so... Uh, so can I, no, I can't trap them unless I go forge. So I guess I go forge and does it matter which one I choose to forge on? Uh, they can play dismember. So I guess I forge on to this one. Well, this one I guess, yeah, I don't know. Maybe that one. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, Dungeoneer is a four mana card. I would hope it's better than this card. And that's so that's why I really wanted to make it uncounterable. I wanted human because I have more humans in the deck now. And I wanted to protect it from dismember. All right, so my opponent is going to take eight and also take five. And then they have a turn to kill us. And we can draw a lot of really good things here. We can draw... Um, that card. We can draw that card. That card is the good card. I mean, they could have force, though, to be fair. Uh, I mean, I think I want to explore with this thing. Ooh. We also have Wasteland. They did have Force. They have Displacer Kitten in their deck. Nice. All right, well, they got to kill me this turn.
Give me a win. I deserve a W. I don't really deserve a W. Uh oh. Uh oh. How do they have so much mana? One card left? Is it a jewel? Is it a worm coil? It's a mite stone. Oh, we played around it. We played around it. They can still cast a jewel. Let's go. Uh, this card is great, by the way. I think this card is really good. I think I would play this card in every version of shops. I'll take the W. All right, here we go. We're playing against Taniguchi. Taniguchi plays a variety of things. Uh, Hercules. Hercules. I, I think Hercules is quite good in Pia. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. Weird hand. I think it, I think the best card from Brothers War is Hercule, and the second best card is the Might Stone and the Weak Stone, and the third best card is Iconoclast, and the fourth best card is Loran. Hercule is not fixed on MTGO. I've just been telling my opponent what I've been choosing. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah, sure. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh. Oh, we dead. Oh, we real dead. Oh, we super dead. Well, Spirit's kind of good here. And we have Solitude. Though Spirit and Thalia are both horrific against uh Niv <laughs> Uh all right, I'm gonna go Lotus Thalia Spirit Uncounterable and then I have one solitude. Or I could go. I wish I could have uncounterable solitude. I think it'll be Niv Mizzet Grizzlebrand. If we have. If it's Grizzlebrand, I really want Spirit. Most people are not on Archon. That's kind of a me thing. I like Archon a lot. That's my preferred Oath target. But uh, I don't think most people are on Archon for what it's worth. The bad news is, like, my Solitude is counterable. And so I will lose if my Solitude gets countered. So it's kind of a rough life. I also like am using one solitude and they have two oath targets, so that's also bad. I think I'm supposed to play Thalia Spirit. I could be wrong though. Grizzlebrand? <gasps> it's Grizzlebrand. Cool. Maddening Hex. Interesting. How many minks is that? Three minks? Minsk? Whatever. Interesting. The bad news is I'm using both my solitudes here, but... I, don't, I think I was like, like... Maybe I could have held Thalia? Yeah, I did cut a Caracas for what it's worth. Um, I just can't play two Caracas. It just, it, I, mean, I, I physically can't. So, because my opponent won't draw a card and they will be like less likely to have forcible. What? I'm confused. Why wouldn't I kill it now? So I think I punted this game. I think I have to hold Thalia in my hand and just you like play, like, 
use the Lotus mana terribly. So that way I can pitch Thalia to Solitude, and then I can draw a white card and have double Solitude. I think the the misplay in this... I mean, I missed anyways, but I think the misplay in this game was to play... Uh, I think I should never have played Thalia. I, I think playing Thalia was the problem. He, what the hell is this? Are they going to put back a creature to Oath into? Nuts. Yeah, it's Nibbiz. I, I, I mess up this game. I, I think I just had to hold Thalia in my hand. I didn't really think about that when I did it, but that does seem like... Uh, that seems like the major mistake here. I do think I probably would have still lost. Uh, no, no, no. Grizzlebrand is exiled. So uh, I, I think our route to winning this game was to exile both of their creatures, which I didn't... I don't think I saw all the way through that line in the beginning of this game where I, I should have held the Thalia. And I mean, it wouldn't have worked out, right? Because I would have not drawn any white creatures. But... Um, Whenever you draw a card. Uh, uh, yeah, whatever, sure. Um, yeah, I, I, I was pretty nearsighted. I, I, and I should, it, it feels weird to let two white go off of your Black Lotus. But, um, I mean, we have a bunch of Containing Priests uncounterable in, in the sideboard. So, I don't think it's that bad. And we also have Loran, who kills Oath of Druids. I, I, I think it's a bad matchup, but I don't think it's like an, un an unplayable matchup by any means. They do have like a bunch of Okos and Minx, which are really annoying, but... Like I said, I think the biggest thing in this game is that I didn't, didn't think ahead far enough. And I had to realize that Thalia was not meaningful. Uh, Oko? I don't know. Maybe I have to hold this card in my hand and hope to draw Solitude. I can't cast Solitude, right? Because it's not a spirit. Yeah. I actually think we win this game if I had held my Thalia. No, I, I cut a bunch of removal spells. If I had held Thalia, we would have won this game because my opponent kind of drew dead and we had the spirit for Grizzlebrand and they 50 50 into the wrong target. That's a little late, right? Because I can't actually activate this. Okay. I do think we would have won this game. For what it's worth, if I had played a little bit better. Uh, we're going to bring in a Jailer. And we're going to bring in three Containment Priest. And then... I don't really like Chalice. It's fine. I don't think we need Lumi. I do kind of think the Solitudes are fine. Because they represent like an actual way to win. Maybe there, maybe maybe we don't need all these solitudes either, but this is fine. Something like this. Yeah. So what we did, Andy, is I took out Stoneforge Mystic uh, and its package, and I'm playing Luminarch Aspirants, Lorens, and uh, Anointed Peacekeeper, so that I have a really high cleric and human count, and that way I can try to justify playing Cavern of Souls. 
Uh, the very nice thing about Cavern of Souls is even if you were to name like Orc or Human and play a uh, initiative creature, you do get a basic planes from that. Uh, so I've been pretty happy with the caverns. Uh, though they are awkward. Playing a Containment Priest early exposes it to Oko, but I think it's just the best curve out. Maybe I'm supposed to play Spirit and play Spirit first. It's possible. I'm pretty interested in just, like, trying to get this game over as fast as possible. But I could be convinced that that was maybe a mistake. This lets me draw Ancient Tomb into Dungeoneer, though, which is pretty big as well. But yeah, I, I just really wanted... Wow, I'm really happy I did not play Spirit. My opponent kept in Force of Vigor. Okay. Well. I don't need to play this now. I don't know why I'm playing this now. But lets me F6, so... Value. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I just feel like if I'm going to play this style deck, I want to have Cavern, especially when I'm playing Archon of Emeria. Like, Cavern-Archon is, uh, is a combo. So I, I think that I would like to try to fit Cavern in this deck if possible. I know that the, the types are a little awkward for sure, but I do think the initiative lets you solve some, some problems with that, so... The fact that a resolved initiative creature means you get a planes is pretty sweet. Okay, I mean, this could get um, an Ancestral, but I currently have a Spirit. So, it's just a cantrip. Until they remove the Spirit. Land is nice. An Ancient Tomb is the nicest. Uh, I don't know why, again, I don't need to play that pre combat. Like I said, a little loosey-goosey tonight. I haven't played super well. But that's a, basically my best draw in my deck. I get to take the initiative. I get to play a threat. It's uncounterable. Play dungeon pre combat. Well, I don't always want to play dungeon pre combat. I only want to do that when it matters. We missed a damage. Oh shit! It's a cleric again. It's a cleric again. Why? Okay, so it's the sideboard cleric again. I, I just keep getting wrecked by the sideboard cleric, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I mean, clear mistake. Should have played the Dungeoneer pre-combat, because then I could have explored. Because it's a cleric. They vigored again. And now they get to Ancestral. Jeez, I am... I, for a deck that doesn't really care about vigor very much, I have been getting vigored uh, just aggressively tonight. Vigor has been so good against me. <laughs> oh boy our set no no it's I, I just I knew my spirit didn't trigger oh they got a, a Minsk I don't think it's a little too late though uh, this time we put the things on the Dungeoneer so the Dungeoneer can be unblockable right we'll play better this time or do I want to put it on the well, I can, I can explore on the Containment Priest and hit the Narset if I... I just want to hit them. Because if I hit them for 5, 7... Yeah, never mind. That's just going to kill them, right? Or do I want... So I, I can... I can't choose. They got a Minx with Narset. I don't think there's anything that can really screw me over here. I guess an Oko off of Narsa is bad for me. Yeah, I should play around Oko off of Narsa. Oh, they're dead to trap. That's also true. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things to think about here. Aren't they also dead to trap if we hit the Narset and then they can't get an Oko, though? 
Like, if I hit the Narset with this, and then they take six. Aren't they not? No, they're not dead a trap, because they'll be at seven. Or they'll be at six. So then if they have Oko... I'm trying to think about, like, a time walk thing. I, I'm not convinced I'm supposed to not hit Narsa. That doesn't sound right. I'm going to hit Narsa. I, I understand. Oh, they've already cast Time Walk. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll attack them. <laughs> You're right. They have already cast Time Walk. All right, I don't think we can lose this game with Time Walk already being done. Maybe I'm supposed to... Oh, I can't believe I'm Lightning Bolt, so... I think if they haven't cast Time Walk, you're supposed to hit Narsa. Oh, wait, don't they steal back? Oh, then we steal back. Or are they also like die on board? Man, these are like really weird play patterns that I'm not used to. Making so many wrong assumptions. Cool, though. Very cool, though. Very powerful. Clearly very powerful. Uh, we could Solitude True. 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 We didn't get the extra counter, though. But I guess we have an extra 2-2, two -two, so... Okay, they die. All right. Uh, yep. Submit. Rana, da 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 da. Okay, um, this hand has Athalia. A nightmare to play in paper. Yeah, there's a lot of things going on, right? A lot of moving parts. Kind of want to mulligan this hand and look for something with one of our core pieces. Like, I'm okay with this hand if it has, like, a backup Lauren or Containment Priest after Athalia, but without that... Like, if I go... They, they play some kind of Moxin, right? And I play Athalia, and then they play an Oath. I just am, am killing myself, right? I think this hand is just not powerful enough. We should try better. Try for better. That's true. Uh, yeah, I mean, this, this seems like better. Uh, I'm going to get rid of one of the Ancient Tombs. Hopefully you don't need that. This way I can go Ancient Tomb, and then I can play a Cavern on either Cleric or Human. Depending on what they play. I guess they are maybe a Red and Six deck, so maybe playing the... Maybe putting away the Ancient Tomb is bad. But we do have double Cavern, so that means that our Loran is always going to resolve, which is great. Uh, oh, okay. Like I said, this is ideal. Human. I, I, I think this card should be in your deck, Andy. At the very least, I think this card is fantastic. I've been extremely happy with it. Uh, but apparently I can't cast it for some reason. Is there a reason I can't cast it? Or... Already killed one saga today, which immediately puts it very high in my book. 
That's a good card. It does have like some synergy with Spirit of the Labyrinth, but the main thing is it's a for me it was like it's a human and it kills Saga, which it also kills uh Sphinx of the Steel Wind. Not that that's a huge deal with our solitudes and stuff. Uh Citadel, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean if they find another oath or a planeswalker here, is a planeswalker. Yeah. It's bad. Certainly bad for me. Should we solitude in response here? No, we should wait until we play a Thalia so it's uncounterable. Can we respond to the sack? Is sack part of the cost here? Sack a creature. It's not part of the cost, is it? it? Doesn't have a semicolon. So I think we just wait. The problem is they can have force, because we won't be able to like Thalia them out of it, but Oh, the semicolon. It, there is a semicolon. I didn't even see that. The, there's a couple lines here. So what we can do is play uncounterable Thalia, and that makes our solitude... Um, uncounterable right now. We put the Minx to one, and then they replay and get a 4-4, four, four, which I don't know if, if that's good. Hmm. I have a lot of choices. So it goes to one, and then it goes to two, and then I get attack with Lauren and Thalia, and I kill it, but it leaves a boo behind. I can I, I know I can respond to the sack, but responding to the sack opens me up to force. I just don't know how I feel about that. They could also not sack. I think that's fine for us, though, because then we'll have five power. I think I'm supposed to play Thalia no matter what, and I think I'm going to Wasteland their Volcanic. I, don't, I, I think I'm going to wait. Anna Crip. It's an interesting inclusion. This can be an Oko. Preordain. Could have maybe responded to Preordain. Zero top, two bottom. They still haven't played a land drop. Seven, okay. They're just gonna hit me for seven.
I can't even bait a force of will because I don't have a an uncounterable. I I have to make a cleric cavern. I'm just gonna solitude it. Oh, it just resolves. All right, that's super good for me. Don't think I'm gonna draw a card. Doesn't look like that's necessary right now. Ooh, interesting. If they had sacked, they wouldn't have gotten stuff because we would have gone for the, we would have hit it before they could sack. Uh, so now I can choose, I kind of want to go to the dungeon now. I think it's, I think it's time for the dungeon. Uh, increase my clock more. No, this deck has so many clerics. <laughs> we can't be naming orc. <laughs> this is a cleric. This one's a cleric, too. In case we draw another inhuman. Alright, I don't think there's anywhere, any chance I'll ever activate this Lauren here. So I'm just gonna have six. Save myself. Some key points. I, I, I said there are so many. You have no idea. <laughs> All right. Okay. Narset for four mana. The Thali has actually been pretty legit. I got to give it the credit where the credit is due. Uh, force of will. That's a little too late there, friend. I will venture into the Undercity. I'm going to forge. I am going to forge my... My... Thalia? No, that doesn't get out of bolt range. Eh, I guess I'm going to forge my... The spirit token? So it is... Yeah, let's go spirit token. I don't know. Ooh, I can't cast... Oh, I can cast that. I got a planes. Dope. Oh, I can actually use the Lauren. God bless. Uh, Alright, this attacks Narsa. This attacks you. This attacks you. Oh, no, no, no. This attacks you. This attacks you. So let's go cleric, peacekeeper. Ah, oh, they will still have a nature's claim and a vigor for my spirit. So I don't think I'm gonna name force of will. I think I'm just gonna name. Well, Oko doesn't really save them. What about oath? Oath will cost five mana. Hmm. I might name Preerdan. I'm going to name Preerdan. I did not click that. I think they're dead. This pre costs cost four. They hit Oath. Don't think that matters. I don't have Trap. Trap! Exclamation mark. They can nature's claim themselves here. That'll put them an additional four life. Uh... 
Well, I guess they could vigor. Yeah, I mean, they're super dead. Okay, things are looking up. All right, here we go. Fifth and final round. Can we get our 3-2 pity chest? I have a turn one Archon of Amiria plus Strip Mine. I'm going to keep this on the draw. Uh, maybe that's a little silly, but feels right. The classic four mana, two spell land. Oh, oh. What do we got? Oh, chromatic. I've never seen this chromatic lantern. Interesting. Ugh, damn it. Uh, hmm. So. Do we play our mana out this turn? Oh, I, thank you for your four devoted followers. Much appreciated. Or do I have to just hit this Mistress Workshop right now? Pretty sure we have to hit the Mistress Workshop. It's unfortunate, but... A little far behind, but it is what it is. Saga. I'm gonna have to hit that one, too. Oh, God, do they have, like... Sphere. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we have two spell lands. They only have one card left in their hand. This is totally fine. We're not dead dead. See what their last cards are. They like work. Sh they have another saga. Ooh, that was bad. That was in fact bad for me. Uh, this is probably game. The second saga does look like it's going to be lethal here. I think... Uh, maybe I was wrong and I shouldn't have hit their workshop, but... I don't know. No, I think Thorn of... I think Thorn is, like, horrible. I don't really like that card very much. I don't think we can beat two Zaga tokens here. Like these things are gonna be six sixes or something. Seven sevens. Yeah. I mean it could I think I think maybe just a misplay. Maybe I just should never have hit their workshop. It feels bad not to hit their workshop, but I think this game was totally winnable if on turn one I go planes, play all my Moxen out. And then I, I think this might have been just a play mistake. Oh, it sounds like you really want my second deck of the stream, not me. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I mean, this is like... This is pretty close to the best draw shops can really have, right? It's like got to be up there in the top percentiles of, of draws. Oh, thanks, Bright Bill. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm just going to concede. We're going to do it on here. I do think that it's possible my my initial wasteland is just a, is just a really bad play mistake, though. All right, the good news is I have some serenities. Uh, I'll probably play... I don't know about Stony Silence. Kataki, Containment, maybe Stony Silence. Uh, I am going to take out... God, I don't know. All of these cards are not... Well, I don't really think I need Spirit and Thalia, right? Seems fine. Let's do that. I don't think this matchup should be very bad. Also, we lost the die roll. If we if we were on the play in that game, they lost on the spot. Like if they, if we were on the play in that game, we play turn one Archon Wasteland their their tap lands every turn and win, right? So it was kind of a play draw diff. When you have two high power vintage decks that are not playing blue cards, that's kind of it does come down to that sometimes. Yeah, so we're definitely going to play another league this stream. It's only been two hours. I have a donation deck list I want to do. It's going to be fun. So more action to come. Let's see what we got here. I think you should play Thorn in shops. I just don't think you should play Thorn in not shops. Yeah, this hand looks good. I'm going to keep this hand. I'll just play a Lumi, and then we'll play a Dungeoneer maybe, or else, you know, maybe Kataki Wasteland. We'll see what happens.
Yeah, I mean, if we get strip mined, it's definitely not great. Could have a really good Kotaki, depending on what they play as well. Mm, never mind. I've never really liked Kotaki as a card. This is so mid. Oh my god. I, I do feel like our opponents have uh, significantly outdrawn us in some of these matches. Yeah, I think I have to hit the Talarian. God, I really don't want to hit the Talarian. Maybe I'll just play Kataki and make them pay. That's like hitting the Talarian, right? That way I can play a Dungeoneer next turn. So Kataki cancels Talarian. It's like Wastelanding Talarian. I mean, if they waste my strip mine, it's better than them wasting my ancient tomb, right? I don't think we've lost this game yet, for what it's worth. Okay, well, that's not good. Maybe we'll draw another waste. I mean, we could time them out on Kataki triggers. <laughs> Ooh, sheesh. Hello. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah, Lumi, Lumi's a hell of a drug. That's for sure. The waste is going to help us like quite a lot, though. I, do must, I must admit. What a game of Magic the Gathering this is. Good lord. <laughs> Both sides definitely registered Magic the Gathering cards. Ooh, what are you going to sacrifice? Sphere down. Good night, Sphere. Currently, I have the board... Okay, so I, sh I, was, I was smack-talking Kataki, but right now, Kataki is absolutely putting in the legwork. So, you know what? I have to take it back. Kataki, you're doing okay. You're doing all right. You're, do you're doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> and now my Lumi is going to be bigger than this Karn Silver Golem. What does this do? Whenever Karn is blocked or becomes blocked, it becomes a big old beef ball. All right, cool. Uh, I guess I would rather have this Wastelanded. I, I was definitely not on the, the Team Kataki here, but now, you know, Man, I would concede just so I don't have to resolve all these triggers. This Karn has not been liberated. Probably have to tap Ancient Tomb. Why? Why? All right, I, I was forced to see this, so now all of you are forced to see this. You can th you can cancel XJ Cloud if you'd like. That is a person you are allowed to cancel because of this. I, I was forced to see this. You must be forced to see this, and now you may all go cancel. You may all go cancel XJ Cloud on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for the resub, Andy. Good God. Okay, anyways, what are we doing? Ah, Urza's Saga is back. <laughs> ah, Urza's Saga is gone. <laughs> God bless. 
<laughs> Am I supposed to get this Kataki to a 4-3 now? Sure, why not? Who cares? I stopped caring. I'm just hitting buttons now. Do I lose this game if I didn't draw Wasteland? I don't know. I'm only 2-2. Two -two. How could I possibly be playing for MTGO Premium? Were they good? It's it's just karmic justice. When opponent puts a saga in their deck, you are allowed to draw wastelands like you have vampiric tutor. That's just how the world works. I assume we're winning this game, but I haven't really been paying close attention. At some point, I assume this game is over. I, I don't know when that is. Don't really care. Just, you know, F6. Play my cards. I get a basic planes. Snow-covered one might be had. Uh, I'm gonna make my Dungeoneer bigger. Yeah, this card seems completely busted in half. The ability was way better than I thought it was. I also... Oh, I forgot to attack with the stupid Lumi again! When will I learn? When will... When will I learn? It's been an entire league, and I haven't learned yet. XJ Cloud, are you aware that Luminarch Aspirin is a cleric, and thus fits into our party tribal deck? You know what? I'll take two. If you have a Black Lotus, suck it. Oh no, I gave them the initiative. Alright, I, I should have blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Only the highest level gameplay on this channel. They don't even have an island. It's fine. It's, everything is fine. Every, no, it's fine. I wanted to take the initiative back anyways, you know? Really, really show them. Uh, I will forge onto this thing. And then I will uh, attack. And it's, uh, it's they're dead. They're, they're actually dead. They're, they're just, they're just, there, yeah, we, we, no, you, you play this first, and you get the initiative, and then you attack, and you get the... Oh, wait. Now, this is better, because now I get two unblockables, because there's two triggers. So I have an unblockable cleric and an unblockable warrior. You could say I'm the party leader. <sighs> so, yeah. Just a little D&D &D gameplay. I wish I had another beer. After this league, when before we start the next league, I'm making alcohol. Ooh, that does not look like a playable Hand of Magic the Gathering cards. As much as I love a Luminarch Aspirin, uh... I like combat math. I would If I wanted to play a tournament where I was doing combat math, I would just play the deck that gives me 20 free power on turn one for zero mana. Uh, I'm going to mulligan this hand. If this was like an initiative creature, then maybe I'd keep it, but... Ooh. Exciting. Keep. Bottom. F6. True, I don't, I don't have to cleric check myself. Uh-huh, Chromatic Lantern, okay, and Sto Soul Ring, okay, and I don't, I think we can, I think we can get a little greedy on our Serenity. Should we get greedy? 
I'm going to get greedy on the Serenity. I'm going to go basic planes, uh, sapphire, and pass. Get a little greedy. Serenity later. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I guess I can get revoked if I do this, but so be it. <laughs> is this a cleric? Is it is a Phyrexian cleric construct? Oh, boom. Heads up. Heads up. Serenity time. Let's go. Let's go. Naming cleric. Show them who's boss. I love Serenity. Serenity is a beautiful magic card. Serenity is a fantastic magic card. It is, it is just, oh, oh, great. Beautiful. That's kind of rude. Now I can't play a three drop. And it blows up their saga. <laughs> Boom. I love Serena. Oh, it's so free. How is it so free? Whatever, name cleric, make it uncounterable, who cares? It's so free, chat. Next game. Bring on the next opponent. I love Serenity. Just put like, who, who Serenity though? <gasps> Peacekeeper on Saga? Just in case? Just in case they draw an Ancient Tomb? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, get him, get him. Nice Saga. Nice Saga. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just having such a good time. God, I love people who play Urza Saga. Mwah. Trap. Five damage. Oh, did I accidentally play a land? Because I have drawn a land and played Wasteland? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Who cares? All right. We got a pity chest. Big success. Uh, I think I played this league objectively terrible. Um, I think that a talented magician or mono white player who has played more than one league of this deck would have played this game much better and would have probably gotten either a 3-2 or a 4-1. We did have some problems uh, versus the five-color Tinker Planeswalker deck where they kind of, you know, out-vintaged us. And we did have some problems versus the Hogak Cradlevine deck where they out... I'm not sure... I don't really feel like we're well-equipped to deal with that deck. Like, we don't have any Tabernacles. But, um... I don't think we can really play Tabernacle. So let's... I mean, I, I think overall it, it went pretty well, though. I think you might just need Tabernacle to beat the 12 power start hands. Okay, so let's talk about the changes I made and how well they played out. Cavern? Pretty good. I, I actually uh, was surprised at how good Cavern was. The main reason that the cavern ended up being nice was because um, if I cavern on cleric or human, I actually get a planes, which is really, really cool. So I liked cavern. I definitely liked the cavern change. I don't think I was hurting with the Stoneforge change. I, 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 the Stoneforge change maybe could have hurt us in the Hogak matchup. That's totally possible. Uh, oh, you could totally just play real Peacekeeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could play real Peacekeeper against Hogak Vine. Oh, that's probably a great idea, actually. Mm, that's probably... Well, the, the, the actual card Hogak is, I don't think, is a huge problem. 
Uh, I think just like them having a broken start was the huge problem. Okay. Lumi was good. Also, human cleric. Uh, I did not realize this was a cleric, and now it's. I know that's a cleric. Very great. Lauren absolutely overperformed. Great card. I don't think you'd ever play more than two. And we didn't get to bring any back with Caracas, but that was good. Peacekeeper didn't really do much, but also a human cleric for what it's worth. Uh, and I think it was fine. I think this card is definitely interesting. I probably want to try it more. Um, so the, in the main, I like these changes. I think these changes made the deck. The only thing I'm worried about in the main was I cut like four of Andy's removal spells. And I'm not sure that was right. I do feel like I may have cut too many removal spells. So that could be a problem. Uh, as for the board, I, I mean, I like Serenity. And Serenity certainly won us that game against Shops. I just don't know if, like, do I always need cards for Shops? If I do need cards for Shops, then I think Serenity is the best choice. Uh, Stony Silence is mostly for PO. I like Stony Silence. Kataki was fine. Containment Reach was fine. I think Mind Break Trap is kind of unplayable. I would be interested in Peacekeeper for a Hogak plan. Like, a real Peacekeeper, not a not an anointed Peacekeeper. That could be an interesting idea. They don't really have a way to kill a Peacekeeper. They they can hit your mana, though. And we did have a Vigor problem. So that's problem. Thalia wasn't great, but it wasn't, like, bad. It was fine. I think I misplayed Thalia a few times. Overall, I think I like the direction I took the deck. The only thing I'm questioning is, was... Did I take out too many removal spells? My initial assumption was, man, I don't think I need that many, and now I'm not sure. The other thing to think about is, like, do we want a Chrome Mox for additional white sources? I kind of think no. I hate Chrome Mox. I really dislike Chrome Mox. But those, those are things I'm thinking about for people who want to try this uh, in, in future leagues. Thank you for watching. If you want more vintage content Monday, Wednesday, Friday on my YouTube channel, I will see you then.